Did all the little intro clips probably like 20 minutes ago of like making my bed and lighting the candles and turning on the lights and all this stuff and I already feel uninspired to vlog. I already don't know what to talk about. We're off to a great start, guys. Making really good progress. <laughs> Jade and welcome back to another video on my channel. So as you guys can, whoa, I am banging the desk. I am so sorry. As you guys can probably tell by the title above, today's video is going to be another day in my life vlog video. So honestly, I have not vlogged in forever, but I have been wanting to for so long. I just like haven't felt like I've been doing anything interesting to be able to vlog. And if I'm being completely honest, I've been a little bit unmotivated and a little bit uninspired. But we're throwing ourselves back in it today. I have no plans. I have things I need to accomplish, but I really have no idea how this vlog is gonna go, so we're just, we're gonna go through this together. But anyways, um, to get our day started, I actually have a little bit of an unboxing to do with you guys. So this video is very, very kindly sponsored by Ana Luisa Jewelry. So I was so, so, so excited when Ana Luisa reached out and wanted to sponsor a video with my company because they are a jewelry company I have loved for a long time and absolutely believe in. So they put a huge emphasis on sustainability on their company, so all of their products are carbon neutral and they also make all their jewelry in limited to smaller batches to help eliminate waste. Their jewelry is exceptional quality, like so, 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 so good, very high-end feeling, um, but has a really great range of prices from things as low as $39 to even more luxury prices. But even though these items are extraordinary quality, they don't offer those really horrible luxury markups. These pieces are a great treat for yourself or a loved one or a family member or a friend for a birthday. They are always gonna be trendy and cute. Any, honestly, anything on their website I would wear, which honestly, that for me to say that, because I'm pretty picky with my jewelry, means a lot. So I thought we'd do a little bit of an unboxing of the three pieces that I picked out from Ana Luisa. I'm not gonna lie, I've been wearing these pieces for a couple weeks now since I got this package, um, but I put them back in the box to do a little experience with you guys. So each product comes in one of these little black felt duster bags, which I just feel like adds so much to the luxurious feel of this unboxing experience. So the first piece that I got is this really, really, really cute ring. This is their rope braided ring in the slim or the smaller one. I can't exactly remember what the name is. This is kind of what it looks like on. Literally so cute. I'm obsessed with this. Next item is also a ring and this is just a simple, hold on, focus, focus for me. Come here, sis. So this ring is just a little simple gold band but with a white resin center. I think it's so cute. Another thing to note about this one is it's actually adjustable in the back um, so you can get it to fit pretty snugly on your finger. So this is what the ring looks like on. It actually should have that on the top, but I kind of like putting the a little adjustable gap thing on the top. I think it just looks kind of cool. Um, so these are the two rings close up. And the last piece that I got is actually a necklace, which is so cute. I have been wearing this one a lot. I think it's adorable. So this is kind of what the necklace looks like close up. It's kind of a shorter chain, really thin chain with these little balls on it. And then it has this really cool like starburst looking pendant on the end with a little gem in the inside this is so adorable I've been wearing this all the time and have gotten so many compliments on it like so many people have asked me where this is from their jewelry is such 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 good quality it really feels like you're wearing luxury high-end products that I cannot recommend Ana Luisa to you guys anymore I do have a link in my description box down below that you can get 10% off online which is a really really great deal so make sure to use that link in the description box if you want to shop any of these pieces or any of their other amazing pieces on their website and let me know in the comment section down below if you buy anything or you can shoot me a DM on Instagram with again a huge shout out to Anna Luisa for sponsoring today's video thank you guys so much I love your company I love your brand you guys are the best okay guys so there are several things that I know in my mental to-do list that I hold on let me go get my to-do list hold on Okay, I'm back. All right, guys, so I'm gonna run over really quickly all the things that I have on my to-do list that I hope that I can accomplish in today's vlog, in today, the day, 
Okay, moving on. So the first thing that I actually really, really, really need to do is edit some YouTube videos. I am behind on that, as you guys can probably tell. I have a sponsorship with Princess Polly coming up, so you know you guys know, I love them. Mm, love you, PP. Oh, that sounds bad. Anyways, I need to edit that video and get that submitted over to them. I also have another exciting sponsorship coming up as well that I filmed yesterday, and I need to edit and submit over to them. Another thing on my to-do list was to vlog today, which I am doing, so check. I really would like to take some time and clean out my desk and kind of reorganize that. I just got a whole bunch of new stationary stuff, which you actually will see in an upcoming video. Um, and I reorganized that, but it really kind of opened my eyes to how messy my room was in general. And so I really just kind of want to reorganize my desk as a whole. Same thing kind of goes for my closet. I have way too many clothes as always, and I feel like I want to pull some things out and maybe pot list them on Poshmark. If you guys didn't know, I do have a Poshmark. It's just, I think it's either Jay Binward or just at Jade Binward. I can't remember what my username is. I need to leave that in the description box. I kind of forget a lot of the times. But that is where I list all of my old clothing. So if you guys ever want anything, it's gonna be over there. I also listed a bunch of old camera equipment on Facebook Marketplace yesterday. So I need to follow up with some people that were interested in buying some of my old camera gear. I also wanna take some time to spend with the Lord today, do a little devotional. Also, as you can tell by my workout fit, I want to do a workout today. I really have been off my workout grind, but it is time to get back in it. I may go to the grocery store. We still have a good bit of food, but we are missing a couple things. I need to pick up some clothes that I bought from my friend. She sells her used clothes on Instagram. I bought some stuff from her, so we need to go pick that up. I need to update my budget. Um, I actually just bought my stethoscope. You guys know I am a nursing major, so we may do a little stethoscope unboxing together. Wow. And I also need to order my nursing shoes. So that is everything that is just on my to-do list for the day. There's gonna be a lot of other fun content that we do in this video as well. Might go to the lake today. We'll probably do that stethoscope unboxing. Um, I also recently got a Cricut, if you guys can see it back there, and we might make some fun projects and crafts with that. I don't really know what I'm in the mood for. We may not accomplish any of that. and may do all fun things, or we may accomplish all of that and do no fun things, but that's okay. We are just gonna do this thing. I feel like I haven't vlogged in forever. It's probably been like a week and I already forgot how to do this. <laughs> so first up, I actually think I'm gonna go pick up the things from my friend's house that I ordered because she actually left them on her front porch yesterday morning um, and I never went and picked them up. So I need, I need to do that. That's our, that's our first task. Okay, so like tea, I may have just done a little bit of online shopping as I was just sitting in my car about to leave. So I don't know if you guys have ever heard of the Free People Way Home shorts. I'm trying to find some good lighting. Okay, there we go. But these are the, they're just like the Free People movement version of like Nike shorts or Lululemon like athletic shorts or whatever. And I love them. So I borrowed a pair of my friend Sarah Kate's for this summer camp trip thingy that I was leading. And I wore them while I was there and I adored them. They're so nice because they're high-waisted, they're loose, they have great color options, they fit amazingly, and they're only $30. And for free people, if you guys know anything about free people, that is amazing. That is incredible. That is top-notch. But they are always freaking out of stock and I got a notification from my app that they had just restocked a whole bunch of colors and I was like, so I hopped on that right now, just ordered two pairs, so just spent $60. I think it's gonna be worth it. I'm really excited for them to come in. I haven't like bought clothes new, like not from a thrift store or from Buffalo Exchange or like Play-Dohs or something in the longest time. So it feels like really weird for me to be like spending actual big dollars on money, on not on money, on clothes. But I'm literally so excited and I feel like I'm gonna wear the crap out of these shorts. guys so I just picked up my stuff from my friend's house I thought I would do a little haul it's just two things so nothing too fancy stop this girl always has the best Lululemon I have never bought Lululemon from the actual store because it's so expensive but she always she's like an ex runner she actually runs in college so she has a lot of really great Lululemon and she posts it on her insta and I literally have post notifications on for her little clothing Instagram so I can get that stuff like very quickly because she's the cutest style and her stuff goes so fast anywho I got this cute little Lulu running tank oh People are watching me, that's so awkward. Cute little pink, or purple, Lululemon take. But look at the back, guys. 
This is so cute. It's got this little keyhole opening and then the little kind of double cross in the back. I think this is going to be adorable. I'm pretty sure this is a size four, maybe a two. Either way, iconic. I love it. It'll fit. Then I got this really cute dress that she sold. Um, she got this at Anthropology. So again, she has like really great like brand name stuff. And it's just really cute little champagne velvet dress. I love these little detailings on the neckline. And it just looks like this. People are watching me. This is so awkward. This cute little crushed velvet dress. Got these little pockets on the front. I think this is going to be adorable. I'm excited to see how this looks um, when I tried it on. I've been seeing it on her Instagram for a little while. And I just have been debating buying it. Because I was like, wait, what if it doesn't like look right? But... I think it will and there's people watching me. I'm gonna go home. Okay guys, so update. I was on my way home and I literally like soared across three lanes of interstate traffic. Don't worry, there was not very many cars. Um, little, little scary, but we did it. Because I just suddenly felt the urge to go to Lululemon. Again, like I said, I like literally never buy Lululemon at full price. But my theory was while I'm out over on this side of town that I honestly rarely am on, I'm just gonna check the sales section vibes. I know that the sales section is still like everything's like $60 for a shirt, but we're gonna test. I was here the other day. There were some really cute things in the sales section, but I didn't end up getting them and I may feel bougie enough today to buy them. I don't know. Whenever I wear sunglasses, I just feel like so extraordinarily bougie. I don't know why. And I feel like it's a whole mood and a half. I also am gonna slip on my new Lululemon tank. So I can walk into Lulu feeling cool and being like, yeah, I'm a person that owns Lululemon. Even though I don't, like this is literally like $7.99 from Academy Sports. Okay, so I'm back, that did not take long. So I went in there and of course I went a beeline straight back to the sales section. And the sales section is literally one rack with maybe like 15 items on it max. Looked through my little size section of that and there was nothing cute. I was a little disappointed that those things that I saw the other time I was here a couple weeks ago weren't there because, oh sorry. Honestly they were really cute. It was like a pink shirt tank and, and um, this like sage green long sleeve and I was like oh my gosh like those are just colors that I would wear so much um but they weren't there anymore and the things they had there were like high key ugly I was like mm, no and then I didn't even look at anything else in the store because I knew I wasn't gonna buy it but I did have a little moment of bouginess I'm still debating going to Play-Doh's closet and potentially looking for some used Lululemon because I'm just kind of in the mood I really just want better activewear but I just don't want to pay for better activewear so we'll see what we decide. We'll see what the vibe is. All right guys, so I just got home. I poured myself a little Celsius as you guys saw in my last clip. I love Celsius, as you guys know. I don't really drink soda, um, and I don't drink coffee, so I don't really have much of a source of caffeine. Pretty much the only thing I drink is water, which is a good thing. Um, but I was feeling so sluggish today. I still am feeling sluggish today, and these seriously do when I drink them give me a great boost of energy. They are a great thing to drink before a workout, and I am wanting to work out later, so I thought I would go ahead and drink one now. This is the peach mango flavor. This is one of the non-carbonated ones. Those are my favorite. I still like a lot of the carbonated ones too because it's not too overpowering. But yeah, this is a new flavor that I haven't tried. I don't think it's my, it's not my favorite, but it's not bad. I really like pouring them over ice though because I'm just kind of picky about my drinks being really cold. So that's why I put it in another cup. As of right now though, however, right after I left our house to go get um, those clothes, I literally got horrible period cramps and I had them the entire ride over there. So I just took some Lidol. I think I'm gonna lay down for a few minutes, try and get rid of those, drink my little drink, and then I will check back in when we do something exciting. Okay, so hey guys. Um, so I just rested a little bit. I went down and actually ended up talking to my mom for a little while about different things. I ate some lunch. I wish I showed you guys that because I made this amazing salad. It was so good. Um, but that's okay. I'll show dinner later, maybe, if I remember. But I wanted to sit down and actually do a little bit of an unboxing of my brand new stethoscope. So if you guys are new to my channel, hey, my name is Jade. Um, I go to college at Lee University in Cleveland, Tennessee, and I am a nursing major. So the stethoscope that I bought was the Littman Classic 3 stethoscope. I actually picked this up for my local uniform advantage. I swear to you guys, I've been looking forward to this day and buying the stethoscope for years of my life. This is something that I've worked for. It really just feels like a physical manifestation of my dreams. I could go into a lot of why I'm really excited to unbox this with you guys, but 
I thought we'd just get right into it. So this is what the outside of the box kind of looks like, nothing too special. And this is what it looks like right when you open it up. So first, right on top, we have my stethoscope. As you guys can see, um, I ended up getting the all blacked out version. So this um, one was like about $5 more expensive because it was like a custom one. Um, rather than having like the traditional silver tubing, I actually just got like a matte black to kind of match the matte black tubing. I think it is just so sleek and so pretty. They had some really, really cute colors, but our scrubs are maroon. And we also have a navy set of scrubs. And I just wanted whatever I got to be able to match those plus be able to like match any scrubs that I have to wear in the future in a job place And so I thought that just getting black would be a super simple choice that I knew was gonna last I know it was gonna love for a long time So this is my stethoscope also in the box It comes with an extra little ring to go around the belt as well as extra earpieces and a nice little instruction booklet So I know that unboxing was pretty uh, quick and dirty nothing too fancy about the unboxing process but y'all I just feel so cool. Oh my goodness. I love her. I will be making a lot more nursing related content on this channel as I get more into my nursing classes if that's something that you guys are interested in. I know I'm not necessarily a nursing channel. I don't really know what type of channel I am at all. I don't really have much of a niche. I do a little bit of everything, which apparently is why my views are not very good. Here's the tea. I'm just interested in a lot of things and I like to share, but I'm interested on, on this channel. So yeah, that's my little mini stethoscope unboxing for you guys. Hope that you guys liked it. All right guys, so I am back as my desk, as you guys can probably see by the little setup we have going on here. Just checked back in with my to-do list, crossed off a couple things that I have already done today. I honestly have not accomplished as much as I was hoping I would by 2.17 in the afternoon. But I think now is when we get down and dirty and start kind of accomplishing some of the really boring tasks that I have to do. So the first really simple thing that I can kind of just get out of the way here is ordering my nursing shoes. So I actually am going to be getting clove nursing shoes. If you guys have ever heard of them, they are this kind of nursing shoe that are very like aesthetically pleasing and they're more like tissue like. My nursing school has really, really, really strict rules on what type of shoes we can have and they kind of back you into a corner of getting those like dance go nursing clogs and no tea nothing against the good old nursing clog but i really really didn't want to get them because i don't think they're cute and they're also really not comfortable i have a bad back and so the shoes and the support in my shoes is really really important to me so i am uh more than willing to invest in a good quality pair of shoes if it will help me not get quite as sore so I'll show you guys the ones I'm gonna get. So these are the cloves that I am going to get. I'm just getting the all white pair because that's what we need for our nursing school. Plus I'm just a white sneaker kind of girl in general. All right guys, the cloves have been ordered. I am literally so excited about them. So the next thing I'm gonna do is actually update my budget. I'm not gonna show you guys too much of that because I feel like that's just kind of personal information to share my income and how, I, and how much I spend. But I pretty much track my income amount and the source, my expense amount and the source, and I kind of like lay them all out by individual expenses and individual sources of income. Um, my savings added, my savings withdrawn, and then I update my savings total um, and my checking total at the end of each month. And then I have a key that is kind of color coded for like where um, my income and expenses are coming some from. So on the key side, I have a section for resell because I do resell old clothes and old cameras and things like that. Um, my internship, which is my part-time job this summer. Um, DoorDash is something I do on the side to earn income. YouTube is a stream of income and just miscellaneous sources of income. So like if I make something on my Cricut for someone and they Venmo me for it. And under the expenses section, I have it broken down into essential expenses, food expenses, clothing expenses, projects, business, and miscellaneous. I'm gonna input all my things. I just use my banking app on my phone to find my expenses. And then we'll check back in and do our next task. All right guys, so the budget has been updated. It took me a little longer than normal because I had um, about a week and a half, two weeks left of May to put in there and then all of June so far and it's already June 12th. Um, but we got that all put in there. We finalized everything for May, which wow y'all, if you don't track your expenses and your income, it is actually such a good thing to start doing because it is so convicting 
how much more I spend, how much I took for my savings this month that was honestly probably unnecessary. A little disappointing in myself, but that does make me want to just, it makes you just want to spend less and eventually after you start tracking for a little while, hopefully my theory is that I can start developing a good budget for myself. Like this is going to be my allotted amount for food, this is going to be my allotted amount for clothing, this is going to be my allotted amount for gas, whatever and start really like understanding income and things like that. But anyways, finish that. Now our next task is actually going to be to edit some videos. As you guys can see right there, I have several videos to edit, several things to do for YouTube that I am uh, decently behind on. So I'm gonna be working on that. But then we actually have some really exciting, fun plans that we're going to do this afternoon. Okay guys, so I just finished editing my Princess Polly video. It is exporting right now to my external hard drive, but um, we're actually about to go do something super fun. So it is now about 3.30, literally 3.29, and me, mom, and my dad are actually gonna go head over to the lake and ride the Wave Runners. I am so pumped. We love our Wave Runners. Um, we ride them all the time. My mom actually hasn't ridden them since we got them, so this is a very exciting day for us. But we're gonna take a little relaxing, fun time away from all of the productive things. Sorry, whenever I like get out of editing, I'm like, whoa, because I've been sitting here for like an hour doing this. But, let's go ride some wave runners. So hey guys, I'm looking a little crusty now. As you guys can probably tell, it is quite a bit later since the last time that I vlogged. Pretty much I went wave running with my family. We went out to eat at Sonic afterwards. Uh, came back, took a shower. I didn't really show you guys any of my skincare post shower routine because I feel like in every single vlog, like, literally every single one. I show you my skincare and hair care and stuff routine and it's pretty much the same as it always is and so I decided to, at least for this vlog, veto that. So I'm back at my desk and I think I'm going to keep working on editing videos and I'm gonna finish um, doing like uploading my Princess Polly video and doing the description box and the ads and stuff like that. Send it over to Princess Polly for review, make some thumbnails, then start working on my other videos that I have. I'm super pumped for some of these videos that are coming out. I'm actually feeling a lot more inspired since vlogging today, so that's been good. I just took off all of my jewelry um, before I got in the shower. Actually, I still wore the necklace in the shower because one thing that I do want to throw out there with Ana Luisa jewelry, it is such great quality that it does last when it gets wet and you can shower in it, um, at least in my experience, and it doesn't like leave you know, make your finger green or anything like that, like it is real gold plated. Again, I wanna give a huge shout out to Anna Luisa Jewelry for sponsoring this video. Thank you guys so much. I love your company and your products. Um, if you guys wanna check out anything and use my description, or my discount code, it is gonna be in the description box okay, down. guys, so it's me, obviously. Okay, so anyways, it is about 10.30, which is not necessarily that late. <laughs> But I do have to be up at six tomorrow for church. If you guys didn't know, I am a student ministry intern for my church this summer, um, which is a super, super fun part-time job to have. Um, I can talk more about it in another video at some point. Anyways, I have to be really up. I have to be at church very early on Sundays. So I'm gonna go ahead and get ready for bed. I'll probably watch a few YouTube videos before I go to sleep to kind of wind down, maybe read a book or something. Um, but I think I'm gonna end off the vlog here. Thank you guys so much for watching, especially if you're a person that watches all the way to this point. It really makes my day. If you guys are new to my channel, make sure to subscribe down below as well as give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it. It really, really helps out my channel. Make sure to leave a comment down below. I love talking to you guys, whether it's video requests or just saying hi or anything you liked from the video or constructive criticism, not hate, but constructive criticism. I really love you guys. I love creating content for you guys. Every time I vlog, I feel like I'm just talking straight to you guys and it always renews my motivation for YouTube a little bit, which is kind of crazy because I feel like I get in these ruts and the last thing I want to do is vlog. But then sometimes I just like need to because I haven't put out content in a while. And then every time I pick up the camera, I just remember how much I love this and why I love this. Anyways, before I get in a whole rant, I always get really deep at night for some reason. Make sure to go over and follow me on Instagram, just at Jade Benward. I keep up with you guys the most over there. I love posting on Instagram. My Instagram is very much like just any average Joe teenage girl Instagram. Um, but I do try to make it pretty aesthetically pleasing in my opinion. So you really do get to see a big chunk of my life over on Instagram. It's not just a bunch of pictures of me. It's mainly pictures of me and my friends. Don't worry. Yeah. What I'm trying to say is thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I can't wait to make more vlogs in the future. I have a bunch of things that I want to show you guys and do with you guys in vlogs. 
but we just didn't have time for them today because I went wave runner riding. That'll be it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys. Missing someone. Missing someone.